serving time as a woman is harder than serving time as a man. I got backlash from that, too. But explain yourself, though. I've experienced both sides of the fence. When you go to a men's facility, it's a damn line outside with the mamas and the kids. When you go to a women's facility, you don't see no men. You see the grandparents or the sisters or the aunties, but you really rarely see a man hold his woman down. It's Today, we've got a story that's hotter than a superhero landing on a skyscraper. You know, we're all about celebrating real life heroes. And today, we've got an absolute gem for you. This is the incredible tale of Shayna West, a self-taught actor, a daring stunt artist, and a martial arts maven. Pop the balloon to reject the girl. My name is Dr. Elam, I'm 38 years old, and I pop my balloon just because you're simply too young. I mean, if you change your mind, I'm open to it though. Here we go. Look, she's cheesing already, dog. Huh? <laughs> hey, look at you starting already. <laughs> This your podcast. This your podcast. We, we got everybody in the building. Hey. And then we, I mean, let me cut this transition off real quick. There we go. There go my man. Look at it. Look at the boy right there. In the building. Los. Got T. The hostess with the most. You know what I mean? The troublemaker over here. Nah. That's what the T stands for. The troublemaker over here. This stands for <laughs> fancy. And you know, you know the... The man, the 50 grand over there sitting mm -hmm. on the couch. And yeah, 50 I'm, grand over there. I'm over here on the couch by myself because you know I'll be on the island by myself. <laughs> now, these views that are shared by me yeah. are not exclusively shared, shared by, by you. this John podcast. <laughs> <laughs> these are solely my views. <laughs> so I'm over here by myself. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you got you to you watch that guy over there, man. You got to watch that guy over there, man. And I mean, this John podcast. Look, yeah. we got a good one, good one for y'all tonight. As usual, we got yeah, our six usual. videos to react to viral videos that was popping this week so before we get started make sure you hit that like button like hit that share button share subscribe you know it definitely make sure y'all subscribe you heard them should we just like jump right into the video i'm ready no are, are, are you ready yeah i'm ready i'm ready wait yeah man you skillet are you ready over there doc listen i was born ready that, that boy right there that boy <laughs> when i grew so up I, 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 I want to be like him I'm just, you know, I don't do much. I just do a lot. <laughs> hey, look at that. <laughs> hey, this is what I told you. We learn from y'all. Yep. Okay. We'll see. Mm -hmm. hey, man, let me make sure I got these videos started, man. Let me make sure I got everything. Let me make sure I got everything, everything ready. Let me make sure I got everything ready. Hey, hold on. I got my, I got my drink ready. You, oh, you got your, um, your green Kool-Aid? Yeah, okay. I, yeah, I know. A green I got Everclear in it. She probably got some Bacchus sitting in there somewhere. No, I don't. Talking about she don't drink. I don't drink. Yeah, okay. Water. Anybody with fancy sweaters like that, they definitely drink. <laughs> Did, didn't she come over dressed? Look at her. She probably drink, uh, what's that? Didn't she? Uh, okay, you know what? Class A Azul. 20, $25 a shot. Let me Jack. tell you something. I, I got to maintain my lifestyle. Oh, damn. Talk heavy, Mariah Carey. Yes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, man. Let's slide right into the first video, man. Let's, let's get this. Go. Let's get this thing here. Sorry, man. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> it's hey. this jump podcast. Aww. Let's go. Serving time as a woman is harder than serving time as a man. I got backlash from that too. But explain yourself, though. I've experienced both sides of the fence. When you go to a men's facility, it's a damn line outside with the mamas and the kids. When you go to a women's facility, you don't see no men. You see the grandparents or the sisters or the aunties, but you really rarely see a man hold his woman down. It's disheartening. As women, we deal with a lot. We wear a lot of hats and we carry a lot on our shoulders. And when men do time, they can go do 10 years like it ain't nothing. Because mm. guess what? You can call home. You know your wife at home. The kids with their mama. The house good, they good. You can be at peace knowing your family is okay. I was blessed to have a, a very good, strong support system. So I didn't encounter or endure a lot of things that other women did. But I had girls that I was friends with okay. who kids got taken by the state. They don't know where their kids are. Husbands left them. I think that whole perspective just really like, I didn't necessarily know that. I didn't necessarily even think about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, talk heavy. Man, yeah, I mean, you know, let's, let's, let's see that. What do you hey. think, bro? First, think, bro? Of, first of all, first of all <clears throat> excuse me. Let him go. He why go. does he have a bucket fitted hat on? <laughs> Where did he get the hat from? Hey, that's his fashion. I understand, but that that's that's different. A bucket fitted hat? Okay. <laughs> it actually looks like a pot. 
I know. It's crazy. <laughs> Listen, man, you know, you know, can be dressing crazy, dog. Yeah, he do. It's just his thing. So I ain't going to hate. That's, that's his thing. Keep doing your thing, Cam. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I fuck with Cam. I do. Fashion statement. I do. Yeah. I like you know that he's different. I think y'all just on the people like with the fashion today. What's up with that? Y'all talking I mean, about me and my, and my sweater. Uh, now you talking about him and his hat. No, What's but your hat? sweater is just fancy. His hat is <laughs> unique. He could, he could put his whole head in there down to his chin. <laughs> He be wearing that a uh, uh, Questador Conquistador. Yeah, I, I don't even know his style. I can't even Hell. find the words. But anyway, in reference to this video, I don't know any women that have went to jail. I mean, let me rephrase that. I do, but not <laughs> that did like hard time type of thing. So I can't really speak on that end. Yeah, he, he like a rough, rugged, and rough. Oh no! Now, listen, I'm gonna be the first to tell a woman, "You go to jail." <laughs> I can't do the bid. Okay? Exactly. I'm See, sorry. Huh? See, and you, the problem is, is because y'all men, y'all lack that emotional understanding. Uh, y'all yeah. always want us women to be there and support y'all, but y'all can't do the same for us. Why excuse me. That? Excuse me. Not y'all, because I'm not going to jail. So <laughs> you ain't got to worry about it on Look. my end. I'm not <laughs> going so to you, jail. You, you, you can do that bid by yourself. Yeah, but I mean. But then y'all want y'all always want us there by y'all. Not y'all. Not y'all. I'm just saying in general, we're talking about men versus women, right? I mean, I get it, but like, I don't, I don't know the reason why men don't go. I mean, that that is a terrible thing. Like, if you, if you, if a woman gonna hold you down, you should definitely hold a woman down. Yeah. Lack of empathy. But no, just if I'm gonna keep it real, I'm, I'm keeping gonna, it real. I'm about to keep it real. If my yams is locked up, <laughs> oh man, I week number three, I'm like, what is? So what am I supposed to what you gonna do? <laughs> so that's all it is to you. Not just all, some yams? not all, but it's, it's it's a big deal. Like, what am I supposed to do? Okay, my, so what is the woman supposed to do when y'all hey, when, when, when men go to jail? So let me. I think from from a, a, a man's point of view, okay, I ain't dating no criminal female anyway. You know what I mean, but. You, you gotta look at it. As, as Just a, because I mean, somebody goes to jail doesn't necessarily mean that they're a criminal. People get what? What? People what? Get, you I go mean, to jail, you're a criminal. Okay, so out of ten people you know, how many people do you know have gone to jail because of something or somebody done lied on them? I know a couple. And now, people. and now these days, oh, especially shit. by the color Listen, of your skin, that, you know what? The color of your I, skin. I, I gotta give you that one because shit. You automatic yeah. like. But. The minute you walk out the door, you already got two strikes against you, especially for you as a black male. Yeah. I mean, okay. but now as, as a black man, it it is it is fucked up if he don't hold his woman now, if that's his wife. But if that's not his wife, I ain't doing your bed with you. I tell you what, when you get out, we'll I, I get a long stroke. <laughs> You know what I mean? He said, we'll, we'll revisit, we'll revisit this. this. Yeah. Wait a minute, CJ. Yeah, you, I'll get a long stroke. All right, you just said the yams if the yams is locked up. Okay, so if the yams is your wife, is it, do you still have the same philosophy? Listen, or not? Well, listen. if that's your wife, then of course. Then listen, no, you got to hold CJ. your wife. Listen, honey. Listen here. <laughs> I love you. I'm going to put money on your books. I'm going to come visit. I'm doing all that. I'm, 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 I'm riding. But when it comes to the yams... <laughs> Wow. I have to I have to supply my because again in my relationship I'm speaking for my personal self yams is very high on the list it, it might be two it ain't no less than three <clears throat> it's like honesty loyalty all that all that stuff so is the woman <clears throat> important at all she no she but she is important that's why she's giving me the yams because she's important but I'm just saying like <laughs> you know honesty integrity loyalty all of that stuff is first <laughs> and then you know when you, know, you get is, out because again I know me I was on and popping I would never be in a long-term situation with a woman whose sex is trash because that's how big of a deal it is to me so it's like I wouldn't I wouldn't entertain you if if you just couldn't satisfy me, it just is what it is. So the same thing, if she goes mm -hmm. to jail, I'm like, listen, can can I get a hall pass till you come home? So let's just say she went to jail because of something she did for you. Again. Oh, you're on your own. I'm ain't no, not ain't doing, no honor amongst these. I'm, no, I'm not doing anything that's going to jeopardize you going to jail. You know you why? Know. Because then I know I can't get the yams. Is that is that mm -hmm. like logical yep. to me? I would never be like, all right, listen, I got a real estate business. I want you to... Uh, do this bank fraud and put your bank. name on this loan and give me two million because I know it's a chance you could go to jail. I don't want you to go to jail because I don't want you to be in there, number one. But number two, I don't want you to be in jail because then I can't get the yams. Like it's literally that's the that's like the the reasons why. No, I don't want you in jail. 
and yeah, because I can't get no yams. It's really okay. that serious. So yeah. I wouldn't put her in that position. But what it sounds like it's more important to you is the yams because that's what you just keep. No, 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 but not wait, more but, important. But, but now let me uh, let me ask: Would you hold down your man? Hell yeah, I've done it. Your, so, hus- your, your husband or your man? N- not my. He was it my. He was my ex fiance. So, okay, yes. okay. So let me okay. ask you a question: okay. Is sex high on your priority list? I don't know. I mean, so, so <laughs> yeah, if it's not really high, then cool. What she don't know? That makes sense. <laughs> you can hold on for other reasons. So, at the end of the day, I guess it was more so like that love and loyalty that came first for me. I mean, that's cool. I, look, I love you, girl. I, I'm loyal too, but sex is very important to me. So, like, what do you expect me to do? I would ask her, like, what do, yeah. what do you, what would you want me to do? I don't want to cheat. If she's if she's my real woman, real relationship. I don't want to cheat. I'm I'm letting you know this now. But you talking about you got seventy two months. I'm supposed she, to go seventy two months without no. You can't go seventy two. No, I can't go seventy two days. Oh Lord. Listen, it be, I'm not even gonna lie. It, it be you have a collect call from such and such penitentiary. <laughs> you better be quiet. Because <laughs> again, I don't. Want, <laughs> if I'm in a real relationship, up. I don't want to lie. So <laughs> what do you? I'm asking you. I, can you give me a, a solution? Because I know I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm I'm not. Okay. Yeah, that's a Disjoint Podcast, man. Listen. Okay. <laughs> we want to know your comment. Yep. Make sure y'all watch. Yeah. Make sure you make drop sure a like. Comment. Let, let me hear from some of the men over there. Like, yes. Would you would you stick around? Would you stick yeah, around? That's what I, I would stick around. But yeah. yeah. Well, you heard we heard your point of view, uh, <laughs> CJ. So let's let's see what somebody else had to say. Anyway, that was Brandy Davis while on the Cam Newton's Funky Friday podcast. But I mean it. Just to end it, I think that it is fucked up if a, if a man isn't holding his wife down. I do too. Yeah, you know I mean, I definitely believe it. But if it's a if it's a joint you're knocking off, sure, maybe I I holler at you when you get out. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> right now I gotta get the horse wet so I can put it back in the stable. I'll let you go boy. with these analogies. This joint podcast, <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> Oh man! So shall we start the video number two? Sure. Sure thing. Here we go, man. Video number two. We got a female TikToker claims that BBLs oh, attract men with no money, and this is the reason why. I gotta. I, I need gotta to see know. This one. I need to know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's let GA kick it off. It's this jump podcast. Oh. I know you like that, don't you? Shout out to GA. Let's go. But this is 100%. BBLs attract poor men. Same thing. No I believe her. Because from what I know, a lot of wealthy I believe men her. like women really? with natural I'm bodies. Done. And don't get me wrong. There is nothing wrong with getting a BBL at all. But I know a lot of women, they'll go into Tijuana and they'll go to different countries to go and get a BBL. Mexico. Because they assume that this will attract money with men with more money. I'm sorry. That's never the case. It really isn't. And maybe there's at least maybe like two or three of them that are okay with it. And that's like really, really rare if you're really lucky. But for the most part, from what I know, a lot of wealthy men like a lot of natural things. Especially when it comes to like nails or the way that you look on from your face or the way that you're presenting mm-hmm. yourself. Because from what I know is a lot of wealthy mm-hmm. men I'm say broken. BBLs I don't like BBL. scream loud and crazy or whatever. Like I said, nothing wrong with getting cosme- cosmetic procedures. I can't speak cosmetic procedures. Done, so that's what do? Get it together, baby. Yeah. <laughs> T, kick it off, T. Okay. So Tell us. In my me. email, mm-hmm. I think it's all about perception. So I honestly do not think BBLs, even though, I mean, I don't really know anybody because, you know, my circle, we're all, you know, pretty much like the same type of Natural. person. Yes. 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 So people that I know that would get the BBLs when it comes to men, they seem to only want those females just for the sex. And it has nothing to do with their income level. Like it would be men that. I mean, they're just knocking them off. Right. It would be men that had money would be men that didn't have money. So it's always about, OK, well, you know what? What what, what do I want right now? What, what can I get from you? So I had I don't think it has anything to do with someone's income level so she's just like wrong maybe that's a cultural thing for her maybe it's the people that she knows but she can't speak for everybody for every man i mean she was speaking for for white you know she was speaking for men oh oh, cj that's what she was speaking for she said all men that are broke she said all men she said men that are broke and poor that's what she said she was talking about me that hussy yeah you broke (laughs) you broke and poor i'm broke and poor god damn it (laughs) listen I mean, she was right to a certain extent that, again, most wealthy men, like I've been saying on this podcast before, women, we don't care about your lipstick, your eyelashes, your eyebrows. We don't care about none of that. 
If we, if you beautiful, you beautiful. If you got ass, plus. Mm -hmm. If you don't, not really a big deal. If you got titties, plus. If you don't, not really a big deal. And again, we have to separate commitment from sex. Mm -hmm. Men will have sex with ninety eight percent of women. Men will with commit. No yeah, yeah, yeah. Com no men will commit to about twelve <laughs> percent of women. We have to agree with that. So when it comes to the BBL thing, it's like BBLs attract poor men. It's not that they attract poor men. It's just that men who don't have a certain type of wealth, they don't have a certain type of access to certain women. So you're going to when you see those women, you think that they're top of the line because you only experience it. If you in the South Central L.A. or if you in Kensington part of Philadelphia or you in the slums, you only seeing a certain type of woman. So that BBL woman, she looks like she's top tier. But if you go into an environment yeah, where now these days with everybody mm -hmm. else getting them, no woman with, with a BBL is not no top tier. No, I'm just saying when you're in an environment when you don't see top tier women, when you see the BBL women, you think that they're top tier. It's like it's like being in the area and seeing a Dodge Charger. If that's the best car you see, you think that's top tier until you go to Bala Kenwood and people riding around in Lambos, Ferraris and, right. you know, Benzes. Then you're like, well, damn. This is a mid car. So I think it's about environment. If you in yeah, an environment, because again, most of the dudes that got money, they don't care about no woman with no damn BBL. Right. I just think that, you know, it, it attracts them physically. Like, mm -hmm. okay, oh, okay, look at that. Okay, that damn, that look good. You know what? I can tap that. Because that's nine times out of 10 what a guy's thinking when they see that. And, and it's according to how you are portraying the BBL. If I go into the, to the W downtown, and the only thing you got covered is your nipples and your vagina and i can see your bb to me it's like you're being thirsty you want me to see that you got this right. bbl but if you dressed accordingly and i can't really tell that you got a bbl and you just modest with it then most guys won't really but if it's like you could tell the girls that got bbls and they're it's here so they're here to oh yeah but yeah, you know you see they're they're they're, so disproportionate. and they're trying to like, just flaunt it legs <laughs> legs is like toothpicks skinny as crap. or it's <laughs> sitting on top of two fucking soccer balls or right on, now man. right now it's what 20 degrees outside right now you go to the bar and most girls got on uggs and they tights this girl and she 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 got on uh booty shorts you're like girls 12 degrees outside right. yeah. that's how you know she trying to show that i mean BBL. you know i think there is some validity what to what she's saying Cause I, for me, if I was rich, I would, I wouldn't want no. I, I, I'm not taking a girl with a BBL to a, a, a elegant function. Okay. You know what I mean? I, I'm not because for one, them it's all about image. Unless they you got the, classy, unless they you got a classy woman, the fifty to a hundred thousand dollar BBL job done where it's almost Actual. not noticeable. Right. Yeah. But when you just look just completely disproportionate. Oh, nah, man. You ain't coming away with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? You you like a broke Nicki Minaj. You ain't coming away with me. Get the hell out of here with that. You know what I mean? Toothpicks sitting on two soccer balls. It, it ain't happening. Again, if you the type of woman you got a flaw in it, because I, I ain't going to lie. If, if you got a BBL and I can't really, like, it's not really that noticeable. It goes with and your then, figure. It, it, I'm cool with it. But it's all about if every time I see you, you you at the gym? You got damn near panties oh, yeah. on. Does you want me to see your BBL? I was like, come. I don't care. It's so like they're attention seeking. You're trying too That's hard. It. I'm cool That's off it. of that. That's it, man. This joint podcast, man. We don't like BBL. No. You don't, don't like, like BBL. You don't nah. like the BBL. DSLs, nah, but nah, not nah. BBL. Nah. BS. <laughs> you know you you. Have, well, I know you, but it, see that you ever tried to make love with a girl with a BBL. What? what the hell? It's horrible, what the hell man. Not knowing. I'm not saying that you ever tried to make love to make a girl okay, with a BBL. Please, yeah, please clear that so up. So that's what he was saying. <laughs> I was saying, not you. <laughs> yeah, he was saying you ain't did Yeah, that. because I don't do girls over yeah, here. That's what I'm I saying. I don't do girls. None of that, okay? You know what? That yeah, might, that might yeah, be you on, don't want all that plastic. That might be on my bucket list before I get oh, into a real relationship. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but listen, man. Ladies, if you out there you got a BBL, let me know. I'm lying. He hunting, man. Listen, hit that like button, leave your comment. Give him something to drink. Who, me? Yeah, you. Yeah, you no. gave him something to drink. I'm high off life. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Hey, you know I hear. <laughs> Hit that like button, leave a comment, and yeah. tell us what you think. This your own podcast, I'm man. about to get me a BBL. Uh, no, uh -oh. you better not. Uh, next time I come back, I'm going to have a BBL. Oh, my Lord. As mm -hmm. long as you ain't uh, titty nibbles. As long as you don't lift your chair up, and now you're sitting up high as we can see yeah, your ass. Yeah. Next video. Shayna West.
The beautiful Brit is showing off her martial arts and swordsmanship skills. This young lady is killing it. Blowing up the internet. Have you ever heard of Shayna West? I have not. Have, have you ever heard of Shayna West? No, I haven't. Oh, man, this young girl killing it. Killing it. Hey. I got to listen. It, it's refreshing seeing the our young, beautiful black women doing something other than shaking their ass. Shaking their ass. I hate it. I was just twerking. Showing, okay, mama. <laughs> Get this thing in popping. Oh, no, now I got to bring Gia back. I got to bring Gia back now. It's this true yeah. podcast. Oh. oh. Let's go. Today, we've got a story that's hotter than a superhero landing on a skyscraper. You know, Ooh, she we're all about for. celebrating real mm -hmm. life heroes. And today, okay, okay. we've got an absolute gem Lorena for Bobby. you. Uh, this is the incredible tale of Shayna West. Bobby? A self-taught actor, I'd be scared, a huh? daring <laughs> stunt artist, CJ, you and want a that right martial there? arts Lorena maven. Bobby. Yeah. Who's shaking up the industry faster than you can say Avengers Assemble. Born on August 23rd, 1994, my, in the heart of system. London, <laughs> Shayna West is more child. than just your average she personal her? trainer. Oh, she She's got more sleep. tricks up her sleeve than sleep. Tony Stark <laughs> on a you gadget shop. Oh, yeah. I mean, come on. She's an actress, a martial artist, and a stunt woman. Her CV is like a never-ending scroll of awesomeness, and Look it keeps on, on growing. Head. But here's She's the a beautiful kicker, young lady. Folks. Success didn't fall into her lap like Thor's hammer. No, Siri. Mm -hmm. You see, the stunt biz isn't a walk in the park. It's like trying to tame the Hulk. Physically well, and emotionally. Sword, and Shayna, she's no exception. In 2015, she oh, had a God. motorcycle <laughs> crash that could have put her out of the well, game for good. Oh. But she's tougher than vibranium, folks. She powered <laughs> through that setback. Even when her partner walked away and her job took a nosedive. Anxiety and depression tried to hold her down, but she found solace in comic book heroes anime mm -hmm. and, you guessed it, martial arts. Mm -hmm. And that's where Maybe the story that. gets really interesting. Oh, yeah, China's deep dive yeah, into Japanese culture cool. gave her the motivation to rebuild hey, her hey, life. Hey. She channeled her inner warrior and it paid what off big time. About? She mastered martial <laughs> arts like karate and wushu and even got hey, the hang of weapons like time. swords, daggers, and staffs. <laughs> and here's the kicker. She's almost entirely self-taught. Talk about leveling up. But martial arts isn't just about throwing punches and kicks. It's a life lesson, a journey that about? teaches mm -hmm. you patience, oh, perseverance, and no, discipline. Shayina, she took those lessons to heart. Her style is all about embracing the free spirit, just like our favorite anime characters. Mm. It makes her feel like a superhero in her own oh, right. Like, uh, what's that, what's now, that, uh, here's anime, the real Naruto? plot twist, folks. Shayna isn't anime. just your uh, typical martial yeah, artist. She's also that, a motorcycle enthusiast. She rides a 600 Chari Ki Suzuki Ooh. motorcycle, and that's as cool as rocket boots on there Iron Man. Day right there, bro. She's living the dream. Fast forward CJ's a bit, and Shayna turned her newfound lifestyle into a career no that could joke. give Spider-Man's acrobatics a run for their money. Look, all she got she to do is the stunt and give world the was mostly a boys club, <laughs> and female stunt performers, especially women of color, were rare. It's like trying oh, to find man. Waldo in a sea of superheroes. But that didn't stop Shayna. She set her sights on changing the game. The Sammy Ryder, as we like to call her, has made waves in the mm. entertainment industry. She's graced the screens of Marvel's Black Widow in wow. 2021, The Woman King in 2022, I was, I was, I was Jade wow. in 2022, in and most recently, Lincoln Road yeah, but it was so in many 2023. People in that movie, I wouldn't She's it. even worked with Disney to boost the Star Wars franchise. Plus, you'll Star spot Wars? her at comic and anime expos worldwide because she's just yes, that yeah, awesome. I don't, I don't in 2021, Shaina was personally invited I'm by good. The Weeknd to star in his video for Take My First of Breath. All, I don't watch that much TV you see, either. she's not just a superhero on screen. She's living it in real life. But here's the most incredible part, folks. Shayna West is a like real-life superhero major. with a backstory that could rival any Avenger. She's determined to smash those stereotypes in the industry while promoting mental health through the practice she loves. So there you she have it, the jaw-dropping journey hey. of the Samurider, Shayna West. 
Remember, heroes come in all shapes, sizes, and colors, and she's proving that like every you. single day. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, stay epic. Mm, that is Shana black girl magic. Right there, black woman magic. I'm scared of her. Let me get up for Shayna right yeah. there. Shout out to Shayna West. She's about to be my trainer. Yeah, I don't yeah. think you. I don't think you can afford her. Hey, you know what I mean. By the time next time I come and y'all mess with me, look. I train you. I feel like Thank if run you. your ass up and down them goddamn steps. <laughs> I feel like if she trained all black women, cheating would drop seventy five percent. Yeah, because they ain't had nothing else better to do but to work out. No, I'm just saying. No, men would be niggas men be getting their ass. Yeah, they, <laughs> men ain't gonna want it. <laughs> man, you ain't gonna want to cheat. You can swing that damn thing around. As soon as you come through that vestibule, and you done got your teeth knocked out. Okay, right. yeah, 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 Lorena Bobby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yo, yo, bro, you want to go to the uh, to the bar on Friday night? No, nah. let, let me ask my girl. Nah, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm Netflixing mm -hmm. and chilling with wifey. I ain't going out. <laughs> now you know it's just refreshing to see some of our young, beautiful talent. You know what I mean? Yeah. Putting, you know what I mean? Putting their skills to to use. You know what I mean? Other than checking their ass, is, Exactly. Man. Straight determination. Because, look, here she is. She, she's she been faced with so many difficulties, so many challenges. And here she she didn't even give up. She said, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to push even harder. Yeah. So that's what we got to do now these days. That's everybody, men and women. But I'm glad that she's, like, really make, make, yeah. making making it work for herself. So for me. Doing a thing, man. She ain't, you know what I mean? She ain't pie him you know, how young girls be doing? And for me, like, <laughs> look back at that's, it. That's, look all back, you know what look, you know that's all they do. Look, that's all they do. That's all they know. And Hold for up. me, like, you, they got a head of tongue out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what you do it again? I had to put a camera on y'all. Do it again. They ain't right there. They ain't right there. God damn it. <laughs> See, for me, like, Good. I'm an unorthodox type of guy, so I like women who are different. So the fact that she just do all that martial arts, that would attract me from the rip. From the rip, because. It's like I don't know no girl. I don't know a woman that does that. So anytime I run into women who do different stuff or whatever, it's like that's attraction to me because it's like, no, and this is no disrespect to other women, but like mm -hmm. you meet a hundred hairstylists, right? You meet a hundred nurses, you meet a hundred estheticians and beauty type of women, and you see that everywhere. But when you run into somebody like her, you can't compare her to anyone else. So like that's a natural attraction. When it's women that do other stuff. So, I mean, shout out to her that she, and she's self taught. So, that shows you she's, she's passionate. Mostly self taught. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so that means she, most, most of the stuff she learned, right. She taught herself. So, that's passion to me. And, like, I, yeah, that's, that's a pure natural passion right there. It, it, and, and this is a type of woman I could take her beauty aside because she's beautiful. But just aside from that, I would be naturally attracted to her because I would be inquisitive. Like, okay. Hmm, so, if she went to jail, what would you do? Oh, I'm not cheating on her. She ain't coming out. She can, she, you think she gonna get out after a five year binge? I'm like, okay, CJ, no, I'm gonna get my ass. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Hey, CJ, boy. Look at that. Call me Papoose Junior. Oh my god. I'm gosh. at that jail every day, hey, baby. Every you, day. You need me to um clean that stick off that you be doing all that with? I, I got it shined up. It's oh, waiting for you. Yeah, but like I said, it, it's refreshing to see some of our young, beautiful black women out there. You know, I mean, doing anything, and and in movies, mm -hmm. twenty four years old, self -taught. and she's and she's she's developing some positive, yeah, some positive limelight for her. Now you know nothing is negative. So yeah, good. And she's, to her. and she's giving another outlet to young girls for something that they might yeah, um, they aspire to do. To. Like, yeah. oh damn, oh damn, yeah. we could do martial arts. I could do that. I could be in a movie. Right. So now she's opening up another avenue for young okay. girls to come up and and you know try to do something. Yeah, different so they like. can get away from this. Uh, what's that? What's that ghetto girl? With the red hair. Oh, you the oh, most sexy red oh, hair. Why did we say her name? First? I didn't say her name, but hopefully she can take their heart. Over their there looking like Young her. Thug. Oh shit! Did I say that? Ooh. Oh shit! I ain't mean. She that. looks sorry. like Jeffrey. Don't even. She look like Jeffrey. That's his real name. She looks like Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey Anna. Oh man! Hit that like button. Leave your comment. Let's go. Tell us what you think. Mm hmm. Make sure y'all subscribe, to this, man. You heard. You heard the man. Make sure y'all. You know, subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah, listen to CJ. Uh, he said, million dollar man, right? Ain't that what you know, I mean, you can put that on me. I'll take that. Mm. Yeah, man. I mean, Ubu. That's right, bro. Damn. Damn. Yeah, my, I, would, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. You know what, man? When I, you I, know I, what? I, want Next time. I want her to do karate instead of being karate. Listen. You want who to do karate? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Karate. But what if she don't want to? You can't force her. The way some of these young brothers out here? No, I'm a forcer.
No. Just learn a little bit, baby. Just learn. You ain't got to yeah. be a, a black belt, but just learn. Just whatever learn the little bit. belt is, get that. So you, yeah, you can whoop some ass. Oh, what you say, Javante? You, you gonna do what? L- learning boxing too. That's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah. do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, just something, something self defense, or or just carry a pistola. No. Yeah, mm-hmm. I can't I say that on here. I don't right. want my daughter to um, unalive nobody. So yeah, get yeah, you yeah. some <laughs> some self defense if it's boxing or martial. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah, go for that. You know what I mean? Kick his head off. <laughs> yes, please do. Our next video, we All got right, a TikToker video. by the name of Freedom Hustler. I'm a hustler, baby. I just want you to know it ain't where I've been. We're about to go. We're about to go. Top of the I world. Don't, you don't know. You don't know nobody. I just want to love you. Oh, oh. shit! <laughs> no matter who I am, <laughs> he records a Domino driver <laughs> getting upset for only getting a two dollar tip. What? Yes. And let's kick that off. Let's see. It's Fish Jump Podcast. Oh. Let's go. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> For a shitty $2 tip. For a shit. You know what? I should have had you guys come to the fucking store. <laughs> yeah. Good Damn. Good job. Okay. Good job. Domino's driver right here. Piss yeah, about. Piss about like uh, 20, <laughs> 20%. <laughs> But you walk your ass in that snow, didn't you? Right. Look, uh, yeah, yeah, look at the snitching. Look at the snitching. You know, they all, yeah, yeah, always snitching. I ain't no Domino's right people up. Yeah, you don't know that. I would throw that crap. Yeah, I would have. I'd have been like, y'all got to give me another order. First of all, he need a new job. He sounds mm-hmm. like he's just miserable. Well, you know what? Well, all right. Oh, all right, since okay. we're over here, we're gonna, right. we're gonna, I want to ask you this. Okay. I'm listening. So he said he gave him a 20% tip. But the guy said he only got two dollars. Okay, so but it looked means- like looked like he had a medium pizza and 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 spray some breadsticks. Yeah, but who knows how much the day one pizza cost? If it's, if it's Domino's, it- I'm sure he probably spent at least about 40, 40 bucks. But Domino's what, expensive. It was one pizza, but what if he but, had a, a coupon code? You know how people be but, couponing but, but pizza ordered, from Domino's. He ordered breadsticks. No, I don't order anything from Domino's, but all I'm saying is, is 20% is more than the average because the average is supposed to be 18 and that's even at restaurants. I don't give a damn. I'm going to just say it. Take your broke ass and get a real job then. Right. Why are you mad that this man gave you, he gave you 20, 50, whatever it was? Your broke ass is there looking for the tip. Now, again, for the regular people who are working and, and doing their thing cool. It was your choice to drive out in a goddamn snowstorm that you saw. Mm-hmm. It didn't start two seconds before you got in the car. Right. My man said he was a mile and a half that away. Was at least three and it looked like he it was out yep. in like the suburb somewhere. So that means that that Domino's is about five minutes away from that man's house. So you took your broke ass out there <laughs> in the snow and you chose to drive to his house. And again, if you if you see any Domino's commercials, they be giving three pizzas away for eight dollars. So it's like no, you, you could tell it like simple. it wasn't like it was a mom and pop pizza store. Domino's is giving away like two pizzas for ten dollars. So twenty percent of ten dollars is what two dollars. So my whole thing is he gave you the tip that he was supposed to give you, exactly. even though most place, places only do 18%. That's so what I'm if saying. your broke ass but now- is mad that you only got $2, Go somewhere else. Go go to a um like a fine dining place like a um roof Chris or First of all, something like that where you know the, the at least you know thing. the tips there, they add the gratuity in. So you ain't even gotta worry about the tip being too like I yeah. I hate when people like that get mad. You chose that broke ass job. For him to <laughs> for him to even react that way before be, by the time he even approached the door, so just, he, he obviously yeah. is disgruntled with them within himself. It has nothing to do with that one order because I'm pretty sure he's probably miserable like that with everything. For him to respond off of a two dollars off of two dollars when it was a twenty percent tip, that means he's complaining about everything. So he needs to fix think, and heal something within himself. I should I should I should I kill think, you. I think he was just pissed that he was in the snow delivering a pizza and a guy didn't give him a, a ten dollars. That's part tip. of his job. Yeah. Find you listen after get another you, job. Save up your yeah. two dollar tips till you get about twenty dollars. Go to my perfect resume, <laughs> put your resume online, let them fix it up for you, and go find a new job. God damn it. Right. First of all, <laughs> do he even have any skills with the way he was just responding? 
Well, he, we know one skill he don't have. He don't have no interpersonal uh, And he don't have customer yeah, service he, skills. He don't have that customer all. service skill. He couldn't no. work at Chick-fil-A, uh-uh. I'll tell you that much. No, that mouth, <laughs> that attitude. Nah, this joint podcast. I would not have eaten that food. I would have threw that pizza right back at him, and then, I yeah. and then right told them that, that he, and then I would have told them he threw the shit on the ground. I didn't <laughs> send me another one and another driver. <laughs> Listen, hit that like button, leave your comment, and Make tell sure us like. what you think. Comment, subscribe. Yeah, I mean, should he have yes. tipped them more money? No, I'm tipping you a guy. Here, here's a tip. But I want to know. I, you, we want to know. Yes. Okay. Oh, somebody else say. Hey, would tip. you have tipped him more money? We want to know. Here's a tip. Pay attention in high school so you can go to yeah. college and get a good job. And don't smoke in bed. <laughs> <laughs> don't eat yellow smoke. Hey, man, this your podcast, man. Yeah. Oh, man, video number five. Number five. Yeah. Let's say this. He rejects a woman during a speed dating game, and this is the reason why. Let's get at it. Got my phone ringing, man. Now just let Jay kick this out way. Right? Yeah. It's yeah. this jump podcast. Oh. Yeah. Let's go. Where's my yeah, hit that button right here? I know G I know G be waiting. G, I mean, G, let's, yeah. Pop the balloon to reject the girl. My name's Dr. Elam. I'm 38 years old. And I pop my balloon just because you're simply too young. Ooh. I mean, if you change your mind, I'm open to it though. Why would you be open to it? Because you're handsome for sure. one. So you only like and me because I'm beautiful. Just like oh. I'm beautiful. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but that's not why I would only I'm like beautiful. you. So why would you like me? Because you didn't answer that. Because you can bring something and add something to my mm-hmm. life. But because you're a liability, you right. can't add anything to my life. Right. I'm beautiful, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful, damn it. I'm going to kick this one off first. <laughs> Where she fucked up at was when he said, I'm a doctor. And you see her eyes, her eyes jump. Boy, them joints lit up. High volume, man. Yeah, you know how like them little them cartoons and you see dollar signs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what she saw. Yeah. That's where she fucked up at. <laughs> yeah. Again, he baited her and she took the bait. He said I'm telling you, once he saw once he saw her eyes lit light up like that, he was like, Oh no. Nah, but he yeah. said to her, he said he he said, I uh simply chose to pop the balloon because you were too young. She thought that that young that he was talking about was age mm-hmm. he was talking about mindset right, yep. and then you could tell she he threw the bait out there and she took it because when he said um you're too young and she said uh well he said no i, I wouldn't date you because you're young and she said she said I'll, well I'll, uh, if, I'll, I'll be open if you're still interested and he said why and she said because you're beautiful and he said well see that's the thing i wouldn't date you only because you're beautiful mm-hmm. because he knew I want to hear something. Mm-hmm. You talking about all the exterior stuff. So again, right. you heard Dr. Cha-Ching. Yep. So you got, you, you, yeah, that you lost your mind here. And then he's a handsome brother. So he's, a, he's probably got, you know, the 666. He's over six foot, which you can tell. He's got the six. So the, that whole tall, dark, he's, and handsome. He's, got, he's probably got the six the pack because he looks in shape. And uh, the pack. other one I ain't talking about because that's in his main part and I ain't getting into that. <laughs> No, six figures is the the, the first one. The six foot, six uh-huh. figures, and yeah. six inches. Because oh, okay. if you'd have said other part, I'd have been like, yeah, that's oh, why. Oh, I, yeah, I ain't getting into that. So it's like he was waiting to see if she if she had any substance, and everything was the materialistic the, and the the superficial stuff. Yeah. Right. And so yep. she play herself. And the one thing that I love about this brother is one, which is something I have to work on. Is he was calm. Mm-hmm. He never yep. was like, I don't care. Like he wasn't cocky. Mm-hmm. He wasn't, you know, uh what they call to- toxic masculinity. He mm-hmm. had none of those yeah. traits. He just was like, No, I wouldn't do that. Exactly. X, Y, and Z. So it was like you you could see right there the difference in mindset. The maturity level. He was Correct. like, yeah. Listen, I'm looking for something and you just don't have it. And again, she's a beautiful girl, but that's not all that's women think that that's that is the crux of why girl. men choose women. No, that's the that's our initial a- attraction, but mature grown men, right. they ain't liking you just because mm-hmm. you cute. Like he said, what value that's do you bring? That, that's like okay, yeah, I meet I meet a guy, yeah, he could be handsome, mm-hmm. but then I, by the time I have a conversation with you and then you sound like an airhead, no, nah, I'm sorry, I can't I can't do this. But see, women are a little bit different. Women will take the I don't want to say uglier, but the the more non attractive man up front. If they feel that the value or the stuff that he's giving off emotionally, she likes. Whereas us, 
we might still have a conversation with you or rock with you but the physical has to be there you can't be to us because we're physical you know we're visual it has to be there first women are a little bit different so if those roles was reversed if she was the doctor and he was the man i mean he was the the younger person she might have yeah. like took into him all right let me see where this goes so you first saying that women is, they settle for dating not ugly, settle ugly men not settle because but, they're because they're nice but no attraction is not number one normally on women's list it's more attraction emotionally Mental or stimulation yeah like in, like inside right women go because i know a lot of women that and this was like a revelation to me a lot of women i know they was they'll say well you know I, i'll take a goddess you know he don't have to be handsome he don't have to be handsome. like an eight or nine yeah, because I'm, they they're yeah, looking but you gotta have some kind of attraction right i want to i want to be at least right. be able to enjoy what the hell i'm looking right at. but whereas men you have to have like that real attraction if you a four is uh, you could be the nicest person in the world but as a four it's like nah we already know from the rip like i entertain you and i and again like yeah. i said earlier but now I smash yeah, but, but what's a four what's a, everybody's rating is different so what's a four so uh, so it's based off the sexual marketplace is what your value is as oh, a so whole a sexual there is and a lot of women don't understand that because if you ever ask a woman <laughs> uh what you rate yourself marketplace baby hey. Mo most women will, uh rate their self eight nine ten cool that's your self-assessment but when you go out into the marketplace if the men only see you First as a four all, i'm not an item that can be shopped but it's not about item it's not item it's but, just but, though, i'm saying based yeah, on but, how you're saying because you're saying marketplace but, like uh, how you say a marketplace makes me feel like okay like i'm a item that you can buy i'm not something that can be bought no it's not about buying but again women don't understand that the dating pool however you want to call it mm -hmm. is competition it's, you're competing mm -hmm. so you you have to have some type of value because again i use some extremes and I hate to use these people, but I'm just going to use it. Nia Long, she has a different type of value than the girl, uh, what's her name, Gabourey Sidibe? Precious. Okay. And again, Gabourey didn't give herself that value. The marketplace did. When you think about the average of men, they'll be like, mm, she's all right. Or I say, I'll use Lizzo. Everybody <laughs> uses her. Lizzo. Okay, Lizzo, she's cool, but are you, if you uh, surveyed 100 men. Yeah, but so you, you just chose... Oh. One one chick that was like fit, which is Nia Long, and then the other two people you just chose or selected are a little bit on the heavier side. But so does it have to do with the person's weight? Is that what you're saying? It's just attractiveness. What right. with the with the masses. So why see? does somebody weight or size have to do with their attractiveness? Because, because there are heavy women that are beautiful. But guess what? That is true. And then there are slim women that are ugly as hell. That is true. But, it, but what a lot of women don't understand is a lot of a lot of women see stuff from the exception and not the rule the majority of men are going to say Nia Long is beautiful that's the majority mm -hmm. whereas the majority of men they, they might say Lizzo is beautiful but she's not as attractive as Nia Long and again it, it probably has to big do with size there are some beautiful big women so hey, I'll really. take that out you could say somebody like I don't know I'm trying to think of I don't want to say somebody's unattractive but I'm just trying to think of somebody who's yeah. just not as attractive as somebody else and they could be in so the is same that, is that your perception because somebody else can think something else hey what y'all what y'all think but so for y'all men that's out here listening does the physical attraction come first for you but wait samuel said wait a second. i have said the people who are not the most attractive are the happiest as physical attraction can only go so far which is true right which is true the all-around personality mentality count when being with someone correct mm -hmm. right but with men, we're visual. So our first attraction is her physical attribute. Now, now, look, now, that's what Samuel said. Now, I know, I, I know men who are just the big girl lovers. I do too. Yeah. But again, that's the exception. That's the exception. That's not the rule. The majority of men don't want to. <laughs> again, the majority of men don't want a five hundred pound woman. I, okay. I'm not using Lizzo. I'm just saying. Oh. I'm just saying in general. Okay. If you if you survey a hundred men. And you ask them, would you go, mm -hmm. would you, would you, uh, go out and search for a 500 pound woman? The majority of them are going to say no. Cause it's just not, it's just not an attractive person. I'm not I trying know, to be smart. I've seen quite a few guys with, yeah. with, with big girls. Have you yeah, seen I've that? Seen it. Have you seen that? But again, have you seen that in the majority? 
That's not the majority. I mean, see, this is one thing I don't really pay attention to other people in their relationships. I pay attention to me. See, so I got to worry about me and but, whoever I'm with. Right. But and again, I, I use me. I'm five for seven. Mm-hmm. Los is over six foot. <laughs> big girls need love too. Yeah. And again, this is not this is not a shot to to big girls. So I use men. Yeah. I'm five foot seven. Los is over six foot. I know that most women are going to be drawn to him first because of his height. You know why? Because the majority of women like height. It's just a thing. It's not like somebody, I'm making this up. It is a thing. Women like height. So I know for a fact that at the end of the day, he's going to be more attractive in the marketplace than me because simply because of his height. It just is what it is. And and I'm going to let y'all women know right now. You only getting about a good 30 strokes at my age. Wow. You better make use of it. I'm going to give you some of the best 30 strokes Woo. in your life. Lord, I'm going to leave that one alone. He clear, what's his name? Clarence? He be stroking. I'm going to give you some of the best 30 in your life. Woo. Yeah, man. Dave, you got that good wop wop, what would you might get 15? Just okay. constantly keep using my toy. You my, might have my, to. My toy is going to Keep them batteries on. Lord. Keep keep them batteries no, on no, deck. No, so no. listen. The the if I was you. The ones with the batteries you, don't do the good work. It's the, the ones that recharge. They, you better have that car battery by your bedside. <laughs> so, so you listen. can jump start that motherfucker. How about you mix them? Do a little hybrid. <laughs> Are you stroking with that thing? <laughs> yeah, now hey. you really didn't. You the one. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's right. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to let you know right now. This ain't no goddamn marathon race. <laughs> You gonna get these motherfucking these twenty pumps? Listen, listen. listen my ego listen. is my pride is too. Uh, I'm, I'm, Man, my pride went out when I turned not forty. Me. <laughs> when I not, turned forty, I that pride, that pride left. I'm too. That pride I'm, left the I'm too afraid. They ain't gonna. They ain't gonna <laughs> have me in the group chat. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> I'm giving out work. I'm sorry. Look, look listen, me. I'm you a, like, girl, guess what? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I done went through her phone. What the hell? I'm look. I'm gonna tell you. I be like, listen here, baby. You come when I come, or you come when I come back. First but of I'm letting you know right now. First of all, can you even handle a round two to come back? Well, I can't speak for everybody else. I'm you better read me up. <laughs> Wake you up. Yeah. I'll be in the shower and you'll just hear it buzzing. Damn. <laughs> Listen, let me give some of you older gentlemen a, 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 I'm going to give you all a gem. When you get. First of all, don't don't stop trying to do it at one o'clock in the morning. Y'all too old for that. We, too, we are all, too old that's for some one to no, Unless you got like little little kids who you gotta put to sleep. If you ain't got that, stop doing it at twelve thirty. Because once you bust that nut, you're asleep. So this is what you do. Try you to start at ten. When I make up in the in the middle of the night. So, so uh, that, oh, well, that's good. Yeah, we can that's all good, we can yeah. all recover with that. Yeah. So what you do is because I, 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 I can take a nap. So this I is what you do. <laughs> this is what I you do at ten o'clock. Bust it down at ten o'clock. Do not get in the bed. Go downstairs, do some push-ups or something to kind of get your <laughs> adrenaline. Don't lay back down, because once you lay down, you're done. <laughs> and then, I don't know, get on your computer, try to do some work. As soon as you start feeling a little tired again around like 11.30, 11.45, then go back in the bed. And here's the real gem. Put your mouth on her first so you can get her out of there with your mouth. And then dive in. I'm, hey, I'm trying hey, to get y'all hey, the secrets. Hey, bro, 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 stop, stop, stop letting the women know our secrets, bro. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. For the all, if any man that's on here knows how to satisfy a woman, that ain't no damn secret. I know. No, but, you, secret? but you get them out the way first. Right. You, you, tight, you, you tighten them up. Tighten yeah, them let's up. Let's just say you, you got a woman that just has like high stamina. Oh, we, oh we got a problem. I don't. I ain't out that. Now listen, let me tell you something, baby. This ain't no goddamn armed robbery. Listen. Sometimes y'all gotta meet y'all match. A battery ain't no woman running on my electric bill. First of that's all, that's why you gotta I have that say- goddamn car battery <laughs> by the bedside. First of all, that's why I said <laughs> that's what- it ain't nothing about no batteries. Rechargeable. Get they you, have listen, rechargeable fella, toys. Get you some okay? ginseng. What's that stuff called? Tongue Cat Ali. <laughs> <laughs> get whatever you gotta get, bro. But listen, don't. That be- is the worst. Trying to use a door listen. cell battery and then you be right there and then it starts. Going or listen, slow. fellas, this is my, like, this is my last. And I was right there. This is my last look, gem. Look, Put one of them things look, on the on look, uh, The last thing I say is, if you ain't got the goddamn battery, boy, you better get them forearms to working. No. I you, put one of them dilly-dallies on the drill. <laughs> she'll be out of there quick. <laughs> oh, right. Listen, you know, we're a goddamn fool, man. Hey, listen, make sure you leave a comment. <laughs> Tell us what you think. Make sure y'all subscribe. I ain't share this joint, goddamn it. Man, we talking, man. I don't know if I even got the next one set up, man. Where, where are we at? Are we at video number, number six? six? Number six? Yeah, video number six?
Oh man, let me see. Let me see. No, no, no. no we at six because I remember we said five. So we at six. Are we at six? Okay, okay. Let me hit that right there, and then let me hit this right there. Yes, we are video number six. You know what this one is? What? Y'all cheating ass Jezebels. First of all, don't be stereotyping. Let me hold on. First of all, I didn't even get a chance. Yo, I didn't get a me. chance to even announce the joint yet. You I just, just looked at me and said, y'all cheating ass. I, I don't cheat. If I feel like I'm going to cheat, I'm going to just leave. I did. I'm a, I'm a, oh, we ain't talk about us. I'm sorry. It's about y'all. <laughs> okay, listen. You know what? Play the damn video. <laughs> Research shows that more than half of we learn from you. these women have a backup boyfriend. Come on now. Mm. Boyfriend number two. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. CJ, Come on peep now. this. Peep this. 70% in 2024. Shit. I don't believe that. The year just started. See? I, I don't believe that. The it. year just see? started. You see why my mom always told me have a backup plan? Yeah. What? It's this job. I'm going to just keep my comment. Let, let, me, let me just watch the video. Uh, let's go. Yeah, if you're in a show. relationship, should you really have a backup plan? Ooh. There is new research that shows half of all women have a guy on the back burner just in case things uh -huh. go wrong. Look at me. Uh -huh. In their current relationship. Mm -hmm. Physician and national mindful living expert, Dr. Romy Mushtaq, is here to talk more about that. Dr. Romy, seriously? Good morning, Come on, I know. And I Come on, like this sounds positively guy. Guy, doesn't it? And I have to sit here and defend all of us women, but this is the <laughs> latest psychology research. I was just as shocked reading this data. More than half of women who are married are and categorize themselves from? as happily Wait a married. Sec. They're married. Happily married. Yeah. 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 Happy backup plan and what is a backup <sighs> plan it means you have someone on the back <sighs> burner oh my god a listen specific to her a specific identified. person She's that they identified and in most <laughs> cases it was either an ex-boyfriend or an old friend who never made it to the dating category get out of town unfortunately yes and and the problem is is social media has just made it too easy to have such a type of behavior mm -hmm. right so i know you're here to say though yes watch out because this Absolutely. is anything but good it is i agree uh, wait before we get started mm -hmm. i gotta address our new friend over here in the building mr Ooh. Ooh said this is me, fire me and Ooh about to have a problem yeah mm -hmm. i mean Ooh said this is fire can't get he got us yes Ooh. Make sure you subscribe, bro. Make we sure we, 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 we act it. silly every week, my guy. <laughs> yeah, we in here. We in here every week, my guy. Back to the video. Huh. Yes, them cheating ass Jezebels. First of all, we learned the fuck from y'all. No, we not. Oh, yes, we hell we do. Here it is, man. Here it is, man. Let me hold so First on. of all, what the hell are you a doctor in? Mm -hmm. If anybody knows what the definition of happy is, it's not that. Because if you're so-called in a happy marriage, why the hell you need to cheat? Why the hell you need to anticipate because, your what, 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 ending? What did Prince say? What? Because, what did Prince say? Hold on, hold on. Maybe she's just like my mother. She never satisfied. She, this is what it sounds like. like. Yeah, hey, whatever, man. <laughs> I don't know the words. Fuck y'all. <laughs> I told you you ain't know your music. <laughs> no, listen. The one thing that I can say about women. Hold on, I gotta look at the camera. Yeah, yeah, because I'm waiting for this one. Is that women don't let go of one branch until they got a firm grip of the other. And that comes from my man Tom Cruise movie, Baby Mission Impossible Okay, too. so first of all, you got a real woman sitting right here. So maybe your experiences is with just because they're female doesn't necessarily mean that they're a woman. Okay, oh, so it's a difference. Oh shit! Oh, I think I think she just cursed me out nicely. No, she just cursed women out too. <laughs> so. Like I was about to say, first of all, if someone is a real woman, they're going to give their all into whatever relationship. What is the point in having a side dude, boyfriend number two, anticipating that your relationship is going to end unless they're only in it for the benefits? So wait a minute. Can I ask a question? Wait, hold on, hold on. Before I pass it to you, I want to ask you this. Okay, I'm listening. So is having a work husband cheating on your real husband? I don't have a work husband, never had But no, that, I'm just asking. Now, I, mean, I ain't saying it's you. Okay, so what is your definition of a work husband? Somebody that you're confiding to hey, babe, about you, your... I bought you some potato salad for lunch. 
Yeah. yeah somebody that, that somebody somebody listen. You need something from the vending machine. Uh, say money, sexy MS Samuel. Yes, yes, yes. You need yes. something from the v- vending yes. machine. Yes. You need something from the vending from the vending machine. Yes. I'm I'm about to go down here and get some party mix. Yeah. Something so wait a minute. Somebody What's you're going, going to lunch with, somebody you're confiding with. And you're talking to every day. Oh, you. Oh, okay, that's so a work that's, husband. It's a friend. You doing friend over, my You doing overtime? Trying that to, work husband trying to get in your drawers. You doing? I've had, look, let me tell you something. I've had several males that were platonic friends that I worked with. It was platonic and it was, on your It was end. strictly. No, I'm serious. Work husband. It was not a you work just, husband because I even knew his girlfriend. That don't mean anything. I was cool with his girlfriend. If, if, if you if you whispered in his ear. I want to see my titty. Or if you said, you think, do you think he was saying, no, we just, we just friends. He'd be I like, never looked at him he'd be like, like that. Pull that motherfucker out. <laughs> never, I never looked at him yeah. like this. Uh, CJ. Listen, can I, I ask, a, can like I ask a question? So never in your life have you been in a relationship or situationship, whatever you might want to call it with a guy. And you had this other guy that you might not have told him but you had like, all right, okay. What's up? I might, I might have to see what's up with uh, Raheem. You have never done yep, that before. Yep. Nope. Just like Ooh so, said, let me the work husband is a side dude, just in a friend. Nope. So pretty much, things what I have done. If I'm talking to multiple people at the same time, never am I in a situation ship as you call it with one person, anticipating that it's going to end and got. This guy over here just waiting in the back burner. So did, no. did those guys know that you was talking to all, both of them or all of them at the same time? No. So if said guy found out that you was talking to a guy B, he would feel some type of way. But we weren't in no relationship. We were just talking. So okay. how you going to feel some kind of way? Because at the end of the day, he had he had multiple people he was talking to, too. So it was just like, hey, I'm getting oh, to know Lord. you. <laughs> so you wouldn't have been mad if he... If, if he bopped another shorty, the other shorty. First of all, we wasn't having sex. No, I'm just saying, just, just. He, you, oh my God, you wasn't. So that's too that? early in the. We ain't what talking type about of evil woman. Are you? No, but that's too early. <laughs> that's too early in the game because if if you ain't doing nothing, then it's like yeah, it's just like you're just friends. But we talking about if you, not even a relationship, but if you full fledged in bopping somebody and you doing your thing and you know you know again, women see women are smart. Y'all know for a fact that Kareem is over here. You know for a fact that he want to, what they say, old people say, jump your bones. You know he want to jump your bones. You know it. I'm First but of stroke. all, when they come to me, it's always somebody that, me, me, me. Yeah, they want to oh, jump. No, so, no, no, okay, no, no, listen. No, no, no. Let's, no, let's, no. Let's, let's no. Proving my point. You know for a fact <laughs> no, that you know on. Kareem want to jump your bones. So that's the thing. Yeah, you, but see, when it when it comes to somebody like that, if I know that somebody's around and that's all that they want, not I even keep my distance. Not even that all they want. It's just the fact that you know that they want to jump your bones. So it's like you got Jamal over here. Mm-hmm. That's your guy that you 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 dealing with. You you talk to him all the time. You're going dates. You're doing this whole thing. But you know for a fact, Kareem wants to get in that position where he is. You know it, and so the fact that you ain't sharing it with Jamal, that's where the that's where the infidelity comes in. It no, it's not. How is it infidelity if it ain't if you ain't even ever even? Oh, but can you emotionally cheat? What do you yes. Think? Yes. What do you think? You, you can emotionally be correct. Cheat? Yeah, you can. So because so, it's like, so okay, isn't that wow. like emotionally cheating? Why, if you're going to give yourself to somebody, if me personally, if I'm going to give myself to somebody, I'm going to give you my all. That's just okay. Me. okay. Any, anybody that I've ever been in a relationship knows that I'm going to give my all and I give my all to that one person. Okay. So are you going to have a Kareem? No. A Dexter St. Job? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> See, y'all just trying to. <laughs> just ask. Just me because, right just, no, 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 no. Come on, dog. You no, better no, leave me hanging. No, you better leave me hanging. Nope. See what she do me, y'all. Listen, women are slick. They be knowing it. Like, no, I wouldn't. No, y'all lying. I don't lie. No, I I'm really just know. saying because the thing about it is, men will go with the flow. But like we're 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 perfect being boyfriend number two. We're super cool with that. I don't know too many men that wouldn't be boyfriend number two. Whereas the majority yeah, of women, y'all don't want to because y'all don't want those those. I don't want the attachment. No, but no. the thing, no, it's not even no, about we, don't, the, we don't want them problems. No, but but the thing about it is, no, I'm gonna say it right now, we don't want them problems. We, we the, that is true. But at the end of the day, it's like we're cool with that because. The thrill of it, it's a whole lot of different stuff, a whole lot of different attributes on why we would be boyfriend number two. That's because y'all just don't know how to commit. 
Oh my no, God. that's. I mean that. Oh my God. No, that ain't all it. I mean, some <laughs> people. Yeah, it is. I mean, again, I ain't even gonna lie. This topic is one of the reasons why. In the past, I had problems with committing because I always felt like <laughs> if I got all the way to the finish line, I didn't did all this. I didn't got rid of all my hoes. I'm not hoes. I got all rid of all my uh, <laughs> additional partners. Clean, clean that up. Uh, I didn't clean myself up, and I got all the way to the finish line, and we fiancéed or we married or whatever, and I found out you cheated. I'm not it even. Mad. So I'm not even mad that you cheated. I'm mad that I missed all my opportunities. Wow. Damn, I could have been out here. It was Linda Felicia. Yeah, I, 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 I'm going to be mad at that part. I'm not mad that you cheated. I'm just mad that, damn, you had your fun. I could have did mine too. Come on. So that was, that's, I'm going to be honest. That's what kept me like, no, if I, if I get here, I'm going to be heartbroken that I missed out <laughs> on 1,300 yams that I could have potentially. 1,300? Listen, you never know. This is a hey. big city. 1.5 hey. million people. You never hey, know. Hey, man, it's city of Philadelphia, uh, man. You know how we do this joint podcast. That's what y'all do? In, in, in my youth. I'm doing yeah, I'm, 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 I'm off of that. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm too old. I'm looking for one wholesome woman. You yeah, getting, like I, I said, you it. getting a good 20 or 30 pump. I'm giving out more. I'll rock, you know, I'm I'm, I'll rock your world in five. Oh, damn. What, five seconds? God, at the five machine, oh. I'm, I'm island down. Oh. I, I didn't even get started yet at five. <laughs> he said he like a hundred meter dash. <laughs> I'm, I'm island down. <laughs> damn. <laughs> you, ever, you, you, know, you ever drove a stick? Gotta get it down <laughs> when you get to that near that red light or that stop sign. Violet down, boy. Yeah, you on your own after that. You on your own. <laughs> this your own podcast, man. Listen, leave a comment. <laughs> Even the goddamn the teleprompter went out. <laughs> oh shit. So in that situation with your five prompts, with your five pumps. So should I have me a boyfriend number two? You know what? I I'm, man, I'm if I'm five. I wouldn't care. No. If I'm, I'm just asking. Y'all condone it. You know what? Nah, hold, uh -huh. on, hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. Before we go to the next video, I'm going to say this. <laughs> if you doing what you're supposed to be doing, I, let me tell you something. I'm like, baby, I need, I need a couple hundred. But when you lay like, here, go a couple hundred. Man, you know what I mean? Listen, man, go ahead, go ahead. I don't give a fuck. But don't get mad if I had me a little young, little slim, little slimmer. You know what I'm saying? If I'm, listen, if I'm a little, little young, yeah, you know I mean, little young Teneroni. <laughs> if I'm five pump Peter. <laughs> my face is going to be it's going to be a disaster because I, I, I didn't eat that thing for two hours i know only got these five pumps so by the time she get these five pumps she already like a uh, she, she like a squid out of water she just out and i'm just bah, 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 and i know i'm done but i ain't let nobody else say I, I am a possessive dude so you ain't nobody nobody touching my queen i will i'm telling you my I will, it'll look like I got gel in my mouth. I, <laughs> my guy, what's up with them bumps on you, yeah, Exactly, oh, listen, man. I was down right, here. Listen, we gotta go to the next video, y'all. <laughs> uh, listen, man, video number... Oh, before that, leave your comment. Tell us what you think. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Ain't this your podcast? Man. Yeah. Yeah, I'll oh, read something different from men and women. Yeah, it is. It is. Listen, our very last video of the night. Mm -hmm. Oh, we coming to an end. Wow. It's been fun. It's, it's been, been fun. fun. Last video. A woman destroys her eight-year relationship with a man who is in the military mm -hmm. in seconds. The disaster. Oh. I heard that. You no, know, it's snowing outside. I had some <laughs> stuff in my face. Let me get this thing here set up, man. Yeah, I mean, hey, let's let Peanut kick this off. It's this drum podcast. Oh. Let's go. Hey, that's my wife. The wifey of how long? Eight years. You love him? I'm in love with him. I love him for who he is. I mean, he's in the military, okay. but it's not about his money at all. What in the military for? He's in there What's for his money? He says me? What y'all? What y'all? No, I want to tell the secret. I found real quick. Oh. I see your phone right there. You don't got to find it. Damn. You see different sex with her friends, girlfriends, mother, a lot. Jasmine. Jasmine. That's my homegirl. Oh. She's pregnant. She's pregnant. Mm-hmm. Well, how Bro, this is crazy. Let me see. Wait, no. you had a baby while I was gone. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait,
Oh, he's he tripping. tripping. He done. He done. I'm done. Oh, he heartbroken. Yeah, yeah. He is. Let's go. Uh, it's over now. It's over now. Oh. <laughs> Let me let it. Let me do that. Yeah. Hey, you shouldn't have signed up for the military. No, that's bullshit. She shouldn't have been a hoe. First of all, uh, here we go. What, he went away. Why couldn't she just be faithful if that's what it was? Again, just because he went away to the military don't give her open realm no, to just... No. Or maybe she chose him because he was in the military. She was looking for that security. But see, yeah, because she she mentioned, I don't want him for his money. Who said anything about his money? But see, this is the thing. This is what I'm saying. Sex was high on her priority list. And she did not say that to him. She should have said, listen, going to I don't know if she could go or what the situation was. But if she couldn't go with him, she should have said to him at that point, listen, sex is a big deal to me. Because women don't just have sex just to have it she met somebody that made her feel good so she did it so this she should have said for me, listen uh, sex is high on my list if i can't go with you we gotta mm, do I something get it we gotta do something i know i know women personally who had dudes that went to jail and they said to their man i, I can't do this bit with you because i know this is important to me their man said this to them listen while i'm in here do your thing I don't want to hear about it. Don't let it come back to me. Right. When I come out, we back on. Let's get back to work. And they did that. So you, she knew for a fact that that wasn't. She wasn't going to be able to ride that out. And mm. it's dishonesty for right there. Yeah, like, like that's why I'm not been honest. That's why I wouldn't be dishonest. Yeah. You going to jail? Like how, how the hell you hiding the damn baby though? How the hell you? It probably she, hide the she, had it, she had it through her girlfriend or through the dad. Wait, baby live with whoa, the dad. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. I know I ain't missed that right there. I what? know I ain't missed something. Let me see. Ubu. Look, look at Ubu. Child the sister looking like a fine version of Missy Elliott. She looked like a hoe. Ooh. I don't care what she looks. She looks like a hoe. Like, see, to me, she tainted now. I don't care how beautiful she is. She's a hoe. Because she had a baby. She did that to that man. That's yeah. that's that's whack. And again, I'm not saying like good versus bad, but this bro in the military, he's sitting here fighting for the country, could lose his life and all this other stuff. So you don't have no no loyalty to that type of man. Right. So if you can't yeah. be loyal to a man fighting for the country, you can't be loyal to no regular dude. Like, come on. Yeah, but maybe oh, yeah. that's the thing. She probably being uh, uh, loyal to a regular dude. No, a bum. she ain't. She, was, she, she was, ain't loyal to that boy either. She, knowing that she, she, had, she was loyal to that pipe work. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. But I say that. Only fans. Yeah. She should just be only fans. Go only fans. At least you get paid for it. I mean, you know, OnlyFans is is, is the new porn is, is porn day or porn hub. Well, no OnlyFans. She out of pocket. Like those. You again. hold on. You mean to tell me you don't know any any of your friends that's that's nope. on OnlyFans? They just ain't tell you. <laughs> Maybe they didn't. They ain't tell you. Let me tell you something. I'm so focused. Charmika, on me and what tell, I'm, I'm doing. telling you. Charmika, and, and she on look it. and me progressing in life. I can give two shits about on, your on what only they fans. I mean, that, that's that's my homegirl right there. <laughs> hey, listen, man. We want to thank y'all for joining us tonight. We appreciate the support. Yes. If you enjoyed the show, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, subscribe. for more awesome content. Yes, yes, yes. You know what I mean? And we will see y'all next Tuesday. Well, mm -hmm. this this episode will re-air on Saturday at 4 p.m. So if you missed it, tune in. Tune in Saturday afternoon. Mm-hmm. I mean, this one. <laughs>